safety. I'm fearing every moment of every day for my son's safety. Lynn McCarrick hasn't seen her son Chris for six months. He's not seen us for so long. And in all his life, he's never missed us for more than two, three days. He has autism and severe learning difficulties and was only 14 when his mum claims he was first failed by the authorities at a different unit. Numerous allegations had been made, things like spitting at him, kicking, punching, thumping, pushing him down on a toilet seat. She says he got injuries like these because the right systems weren't in place to protect him. He's now 22 and has been sectioned under the Mental Health Act, but she says the failures haven't stopped. Control is taken away from Chris. All control's been taken away from me. Um, helpless, useless. That's the way it makes you feel as a parent. This is where Chris lives now, under the care of the Calderstones Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. The trust deny claims Lynn makes that they've banned her from seeing her son, but a safeguarding investigation in 2013 concluded Chris had suffered institutional abuse. Lynn was promised changes would be made, the same way other families of patients with learning difficulties were promised they'd be moved out of hospitals and into community care, after these images emerged in the 2011 Winterbourne scandal. But a report out today says ministers have broken that promise. They know what's been going wrong for the past four years since Winterbourne, so they're fully aware of what's wrong. It's the cruelty of the system, the power taken away from all families. Um, we're not listened to, we're ignored. What we know is happening is people are staying in there for many years, even decades. These places are not homes and they're not where people should be living long term. Lynn says her son has been institutionalised in a place he simply doesn't belong. All she wants now is for him to come home, and she says she'll never give up her fight. Amy 